Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Well, a murder's got gotta happen sometime, right? Uh, let's see who we can, uh, meet. Okay, Hifumi is there. Looks like the same- looks like people are in the same spots. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, guys, where are you? Oh, here you are. Hmm. Do I want to talk to her or her? Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Sakura. This is bad. I don't like this atmosphere. Hmm, should I talk to Sakura? Yeah. I see. Are you saying you're ready for another lesson? Very well. Prepare yourself and come with me. Sakura put me through a tough but rewarding training session. I can feel myself getting stronger. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's see what kind of gift we can give her. Would she like this? Mm. I'll accept it with gratitude. So then... I'll never forget this, Makoto. I got the impression that she liked it. That's good. Hmm. My post-training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, then yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's also it's also that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger, because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its, as its champion. That's one heck of a legend. Hmm. My father was my master, and my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. You mean you actually started beating people like that? Mm. I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that transitions into grappling and a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand-up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game. That could only be... Isn't that mixed martial? You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. It's the most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to be just be the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well... No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Hm. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? 
I kind of like her. I headed back to my room for a little while. Yeah, I still have some time. I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. Alright, who do I want to... Eh, that's the wrong button. Who, who do I want to spend time... Whoa, everybody's here now. Okay, Byakia is in his room. Taka's in there. Hiro. Kyoko and Toko. Hina and Sakura always seem to be together, huh? Huh. I want to talk to Hina. Sorry. I I just want to. There's Kyoko. So they're in the dining room. is not the will to win. Everybody has that. It's the will to prepare to win that's important. Yeah! That's a quote from the b famous bas basketball coach Bobby Knight. Okay! So it's like, we have to work hard, you know? Hmm, should I talk to Hina? Yes. Okay! I was thinking of going to the pool for a quick dip. You should come with me. I went for a swim with Hina. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, definitely. I know what I know what she would like. Those uh, flotation donuts. Yeah, they're they're literally donuts. <laughs> How thoughtful! This is why I like you, Makoto. Uh, I mean, not like 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second! I'm stuck in here, can't do any sports, can't do anything! I'm sick of it! I want to get out under the sun and do some laps! Run a marathon! I want to do some real sports! Hina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here! If I can't move around, I'm gonna die! Like a bunny rabbit! I mean, I also know one other thing that bunny rabbits are good for. Just slap me now, god. <laughs> But I always heard. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Whatever. I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know. Why else would I have joined six sports teams and s what? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got to her main sport but ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be swimming. Yeah. Your main sport is swimming, right? Mm. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? Well... If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge! More and more new stuff to try. A challenge. Cause, I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know. It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just... lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course! Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz! Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second! Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. 
But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. <gasps> That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. All right, I think I'm going to go do, go do push-ups in my room. Like, maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and as strong as I would have expected. <clears throat> All right. And... Just the maximum number of skill points has increased. All right. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Come on. Ah. I thought it would thought it would be more free time. Ding dong, bang bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this as such soon the doors to. Okay then. Night time already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So... Once again, Happy New Day! Okay. You're rather weird, Monokuma. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I better get to the dining hall. Nobody around here. All right. Oh. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that... that virgin! I might catch his virginity! You're one to talk. But... <clears throat> nah, my guess is you're already infected. <laughs> Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> oh god, man. Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approached my food... <laughs> Oh, God. Oh! <gasps> that voice! The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> so in the end... So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I'm wearing red lingerie today! Oh god, no! Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second! You! Huh? huh? Hmm? Have you What's your top power me? level? Like 35, 22, 33? You, you start out big on top to try and look thinner down south! You Look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Ooh. You're starting to freak me out! No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy! <laughs> this is getting rather stupid and crazy. <laughs> so, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A, a story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Hm. Because of certain circumstances. <sighs> Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear now. 
I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who didn't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed... off. So I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that! I see. Did his spirit coll did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand his environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes, yes! Yeah, let's get out of here! Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep! You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard! Uh... <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I know where she's getting at, though. Byakuya started to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. I think she's legitimately freaking him out. <laughs> what the fuck? He ran away? So now he's running hard to get. I see. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um. So at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um. Just now, Biakia was like. Um... Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. <laughs> Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. I mean, like, Byakuya, what do you what do you expect for us not telling you about Alter Ego? You refuse to be a part of our group. So obviously we're not gonna fill you in. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, still daytime, huh? What to do today? More free time. Okay. All right. This is my this is my chance to catch up, I guess. Considering I wasted some opportunities. <laughs> um. Kyoko might be next. I don't know. I do actually want to... Hmm. Yeah, Byakuya is there. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to Kyoko. Because I do have a feeling that she's not gonna kill anybody. Just my suspicions. So it'd be kind of it would be kind of good to get to know her a little better. Why? Who set all this up, and why did they choose us? There are so many mysteries. Yeah. Well. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, uh, let's see what she would like. A phone that, for some reason, doesn't let you hear the person on the other end, and doesn't let them hear you. Oh, well, I don't have that. Crystal skull? Golden airplane? These seven important mathematical problems were posed by the Clay Mathematics Institute, with a reward of one million dollars for each one solved. 
who would be great with mathematics? Oh, you know what? That's probably for Chihiro. Damn. Project Zombie, a mature game? Okay. So that would be... Hifumi. The second button. The button from a school uniform, which increases in value as graduation approaches. Someone's graduation album. Vice. Pumice. Exfoliate and remove dead skin from the body. Correct. I guess that was the right thing to do. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? And? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But, I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Hmm? You could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. So... But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because... You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. Uh, no, that's not... Why? Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A uh, test? That's right. If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Uh, oh, okay. So I just have to answer your question, is that it? So then... Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? And? If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? Well, that's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability. She's training for the Olympics and swimming. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. It would seem... Then your pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course! <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then... Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here... I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it in a, an exchange program? Or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose? Why all the question marks? Anyway, okay, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? More question marks? Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is... assassin? Whew. I kept up my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. Oh, she's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Okay. And just more skill points. Cool. And back to my room. Okay, I still have some time. Um... Who am... No. I keep mixing up the buttons, man. Who am I going to talk to now? How are you? Ah, Makoto, how are you? Yeah, let's spend some time. Indeed. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. <laughs> Celeste gave me the business. <clears throat> Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yes. Let's see what she would like. Um, I believe I already gave her a, a whip, right? This would be the latest f style from Premiere. Did I do this one? Oh! Ah! It just so happens that the one thing I was hoping for has appeared before me. <laughs> It must be a gift from the heavens. I will receive it happily. Does that mean she liked it? <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? 
<laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is... Indeed. That power is luck. Luck. Actually... There are only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Alright. Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well... Do you see what I'm saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. That is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it? <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. <laughs> well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Okay, cool. And more skill points. After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. 